Hey guys, so I'm finally home from shopping. Well, I've been home for a minute, but I'm ready to start doing my unboxing because I'm so excited to see what I got and to share it with you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think it is and let's get started. Hey guys, all right, so we just made it to the Oak Brook Center Mall and we're gonna pop into Neiman Marcus real quick, take a look inside there. And then we need to run over to Louis Vuitton. We're going to have an older um, bottle of fragrance, monogrammed, etched, I don't know. And uh, we need to pick up uh, last weekend, but they didn't have it in store, so they had to order it in. So they, I got the text message yesterday that it's in. So we're gonna pick that up, show you guys around the mall a little bit. There's a really good Gucci store here. So we're gonna do a little window shopping and um, a very decent, not great, but decent Balenciaga selection at Neiman Marcus. So we're gonna take a look at that too. So come on, let's go shop.
All right, so we were gonna pop into the Princess Diana exhibit and turns out it would be $64 and we'd have to wait until 2 p.m. So no, so let's go shop. <laughs> All right, so we're done shopping. It is absolutely cold. How, what's the car say? It says 24 degrees, but I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, it feels colder. <laughs> it feels windy. a lot colder and it's so windy. Uh, windy city, who knew? Um, so we popped in the Oak Brook Center. We got you guys a little bit of footage. Um, I wanted to get more in Gucci, but the client to sales associate ratio was pretty low. So there were a lot of essays kind of flowing around. They were very nice, um, but I didn't want to get yelled at today. So it's a chill Saturday. Um, so we popped into Louis. We got the... Um... So I'm excited to see what that looks like. We haven't seen them yet. Mm -hmm. And then I was able to track down not one, but two edition yeah they're limited edition for spring so when we get home after we get some food i'm going to show you guys what that looks like they're really cute and um yeah so let's go eat i'm starving <laughs> all right so i know i promised that we would take you guys to lunch with us um so lunch ended up being olive garden takeaway and uh it's already gone so there's that it was delicious anyway so we're gonna watch some queer eye i'm gonna upload some um footage to the computer here so zane can do a little bit of editing and then later this evening once the sun goes down behind me and we don't have the glare i will do my unboxing all right you guys let me know down in the comments what you think i've gotten i might have already spoiled one or two things so who knows but for fun's sake you know comment down below what you think it is and then i'll be coming back with a reveal all right catch you soon all right you guys so thank you for coming shopping with us i know i promised you some lunch and i said we skipped it but olive garden was delicious let me tell you that now if you follow me over on instagram caleb.snell.designer then you would have seen my story last week where i shared a little sneak peek at something that i bought uh last weekend we ordered a couple things and well i bought one thing in store ordered another thing and then i finally got the text message middle of this week that it was in so we went in to pick that up and now i can finally share with you guys what i got that's why i have my thing peekaboo here so if you watched my 2022 bag shopping resolution um i mentioned that i was only going to buy 10 bags but there's no limit on slgs right so i've got an slg in here and then some really exciting things to share with you so let's dive in so let me get this out of the way until we're ready to utilize that so um let's start with the smallest box actually let's start with neiman marcus and then work our way up how does that sound ever since we moved to chicago i've never really been to neiman marcus in fact back in indiana i would shop at Saks fifth avenue a lot but now now that I have a Neiman Marcus literally five minutes down the street one way and then probably about a half an hour the other way, I am in heaven. So the one that we have in our neighborhood here actually has a much better handbag selection. I mean, it's a lot larger. We actually have a Chanel counter both for ready to wear and handbags. We have a Prada concession and it's a gorgeous store. And uh, the Neiman Marcus down in Oak Brook, which you guys, I took you guys to today, they do have a really nice YSL concession, but they don't really have a lot of the higher end bags. I think you have like a lot of the Valentino, the Balenciagas, of course, but I think even our Balenciaga selection here down the street's a little better. Um, overall though, it's a gorgeous store and a great mall, quite honestly. For those of you that know me, I have a huge obsession with lip balm. I have tried Neutrogena, I have tried Chapstick, I have tried Shiseido, and I found one that I loved, and then they immediately discontinued it after I finished the first tube, which was so frustrating. I mean, that was like the world's most perfect lip balm, if you know, you know. And I've recently moved on to Chanel's. So recently, I, I want to say for my birthday, we were at Oak Brook Mall when I picked up the Bonnie Cash and Tote from Coach, if you all remember, and I picked up my first tube of Chanel lip balm. Of course, the Neiman Marcus counter X for Chanel chapstick. That wasn't embarrassing. Anyway, I burned through this, you guys. That is fully extended. I've literally been dipping into the tube just to get more out. And it's the middle of winter here in Chicago. It was literally down to five degrees at one point this week. I think it was like 12 degrees at some point today, or maybe that was yesterday. The days are blending together. Anyway, you need this to survive. Now, I actually went to Macy's to try and buy it because this is where I got the tube the last time because Neiman Marcus was out the time before. They didn't have it in store, but they they were going to ship it to me, waive the shipping and everything, which was very nice of them. They didn't have to do that. We got all the way through the ordering process. I put in my information, swiped my card, and then even the distribution center was out of the lip balm. I ended up at Neiman Marcus because we had to go back to the car anyway when we were done shopping, and I was able to buy not one, but two of the Rouge Coco Balms. Now, for those of you who use Chanel Chapstick, then you probably know that right now they're um, doing like a limited edition thing for spring. She didn't really explain it, but apparently there's like a limited edition so the tube's a little different and it's gorgeous you guys I absolutely love it and the close-up please forgive my hands it is so cold here they're so dry and chapped so I do apologize however look at that tube 
you guys. So the tube is typically black with a gold band through the center, but then the CCs on top are done in gold as well now, which is so cool. And I'm not sure if it's, cause this is the Rouge Cocoa Balm in 912 Dreamy White. So I don't know if it's the actual, just the plain clear lip balm or not, but it does have a bit of a shimmer to it. Overall, like would I have asked for it had I known that it was a little bit shimmery? No, not really, but I need some lip balm and it's mask season anyway. Well, no one's gonna see my lips, but it's amazing. I absolutely love this stuff. So if you can get your hands on it, buy all that you can. If you're trying to go to Neiman Marcus Oakbrook, I got the last two. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. Okay, so now that I've bored you with all this lip balm chapstick talk, let's get into the good stuff. Let's see some Louis Vuitton. You all know how I feel about Louis Vuitton. It was my first love as far as, you know, ultra premium designer brands go. It'll always have a special place in my heart. Do I buy it as much as I used to or as much as I wanted to back in the day? Not nearly. However, I'll go in and I splurge from time to time. No secret. So, the little bag. For those of you that love Louis Vuitton fragrances, then you know when you go in to purchase anything, you ask for some samples. I have no shame in my game. Actually, I made Zane ask because I do have a little bit of shame in my game. He's nodding his head yes. We actually met a wonderful client advisor. She was perfect. I think that when it comes to luxury sales, you know, help me, but don't hover. And she nailed it. And uh, she shared with us, you know, she's going on a trip here soon. And it was just a good vibe. I really enjoyed talking to her and working with her that day. Um, when we went in to pick up our new order this morning, she wasn't working today, but we just ran in to pick up our order and have a couple things monogrammed. I, I definitely look forward to shopping with her more in the future. It's a great boutique. It's a little bit smaller than the one just five minutes down the road here, but they have beautiful things. The Capucine selection's amazing. They had some beautiful Mahina bags. Finally got to see the um, hard-sided trunk clutch and actually quite a few hard-sided pieces. They had a owl, couple Alzers on display and some hard-sided jewelry cases. I mean, gorgeous. Will 2022 see a hard-sided case in my household? It might, it's only January. Anyway, so the fragrance samples that I got, we got Afternoon Swim, which I love. Cactus Garden, this one's really fresh. If you've smelled it already, you know. If not, I highly recommend it the next time you're in the boutique. Then I got Contre Moi, which uh, we'll be seeing here in a minute. And On the Beach, not the biggest fan of On the Beach. I know a lot of people loved it and it kind of went hand in hand with one of their limited collections a couple years ago or last year. Now let's get on to the real stuff. This is the big ticket item. So we're gonna save him for last. Pop you over here with the Fendi. Okay, now you all know me. If you've been on my channel for any amount of time, I am a terrible actor. So I'm like, whoa, this is the first time I'm seeing it. it it's not, and I, I tell you that. However, today I haven't seen these since they were engraved, monogrammed. I'm not quite sure what the term is. Uh, glass etched, who knows? Well, I gave it away, so it's fragrances. So let's dive in. As you can see, I got three of the holiday bags. Now, I wanna know what you guys think in the comments. What did we think of 2021's holiday bags? Are we here for it? Was it a little lazy? I don't know how I feel about it, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. So let's dive in. All right, so up first, we have a little envelope done up in the blue ribbon. I've never received an envelope before, so that's kind of exciting. So the new fragrance we ordered, ooh, almost had an accident there, was the Contremois? Contremois? I'm sure I'm close. If not, correct me down in the comments. And I love this fragrance. So this is perfect for evening. And if you guys can see it, we had it engraved with Zane's initials, Z-A. Okay, so let me read to you guys about Contre Moi. So this is an unexpected vanilla and a fusional embrace. Contre Moi evokes the fusion of two travelers. That's sexy. A sensual outpouring that lets emotion rush over the surface. Ever fascinated by vanilla, master perfumer Jacques Cavalier Bellatrude transports it to uncharted territory by giving it unprecedented freshness. Mmm, sounds oh, delightful. Madagascar and Tahitian vanilla blend in a delicate toile of orange flower, rose and magnolia petals. A subtle touch of bitter cocoa reaffirms the perfume's rebellious temperament. It's like a little storm in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did we get from that? All right, so it's basically vanilla, orange blossom, rose, essence of magnolia, and ambrette seeds. This fragrance, as opposed to the other one I have, is very good for evening. It's more of a tempestuous scent, <laughs> as the uh, Louis Vuitton website would describe. It's a much thicker, full-bodied fragrance. I think this works perfectly for men or women. Um, it could really go either way. 
And one of my favorite things too with Louis Vuitton's fragrances is that they're so layerable. If that's a word, is that a word? Layerable. And that's what I love most. So my favorite combo would be Rose du Vent, Rose du Vent and Corbaton. That is like the most beautiful layering of fragrances that you could possibly achieve. If you've tried it, let me know down in the comments. If not, rush in it at a minimum, get a sample of both, layer them, you will love it. I promise. Call it the Caleb blend. Who knows? So this is so cute, you guys. So they literally engraved it into the glass and then placed gold foil into the engraving. So it is truly special. So if you're looking for like maybe an anniversary gift, birthday, holiday gift, this could be the way to go. And what I love most about Louis Vuitton's fragrances, their price point, albeit a little bit high compared to others, 265 buys you the bottle and a full bottle of fragrance the first time. And then if your store has a perfume refill, I believe it's only 150 for the refill. For 3.4 fluid ounces, you're gonna pay about 150 anyway for any of the bigger name brand or more, you know, upscale scents. So just keep that in mind. Like all great things in life, you'll have a higher investment up front, but then many returns later. All right, let's grab into another bag. All right, you guys, so now that we're done with the first bottle, let's check out the second one. Okay, so just like before, it's in a cute little envelope. I swear when we bought it the first time, they just put it in a box with all of our other stuff. So this is really neat. And then of course I have the receipt here for that pickup. And she even put a little bit of the holiday ribbon in there. So that was cute. All right, you guys, let's see. So this one I've already had before. This is the Coeur Baton or Beating Heart. And I love this one. All right, so for those of you who are OG subscribers to the channel, you'll probably remember when I picked up this first bottle of scent from Louis Vuitton. Uh, against my better judgment, if you haven't seen it, I will link it down below in the description, but please be incredibly kind. It is so cringy, so awkward. And we were right in the middle of like lockdown quarantine time. So I had crazy hair. Who thinks, hey, I haven't gotten a haircut in like a year. Let me start a YouTube channel. Apparently this guy. Not one of my better judgment points. Anyway, so Cor Baton is a fresh pear and white flowers that waft you away into a whirlwind of life. That's exciting. Like a wave of emotion sweeping through you, Cor Baton is an invitation to listen to your heart and live every moment with passion. They're really laying it on thick. The master perfumer Jacques Cavalier Bellatrude gives body to this instinctive and passionate perfume with a luscious bite of sparkling pear, inciting you to enjoy life to the full. Am I living it with a passion or living it to the full? I'm not sure. Could go either way. Then comes the perfume's beating heart of sunny Egyptian jasmine and sensual ylang ylang, bringing a sensation of delectable opulence. Mmm, wash over me. Highlighting this floral heart, patchouli adds depth to the composition, a perfume with a compelling character suspended somewhere between freshness and sensuality. So since this one's more my fragrance, um, I think of the two, we decided to do my initials on this one. So let's see. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, so again, it is etched into the glass and then gold foil is placed over the etching. That is stunning. Even though this one's much more lighter and floral than what the Contre Moi is, I think they would pair really nicely together. So say you started out your day wearing Corbaton by evening when you're going out to dinner or drinks, you know, whenever we can again, spray on a little Contre Moi and you're re reinvigorated for the evening. So we've talked about chapstick, we've talked about fragrance, let's get into some SLGs. Are you ready? So this is a highly controversial piece. There's been a lot of rumors swirling around in the luxury community about this piece. And I have one. Can you guess what it is? So I was this close, cause I told myself I had this piece way back in the day and paid a fraction of what they're worth now, which kicking myself, I sold it. But the secret to buying anything monogram from Louis Vuitton, buy it in January. I've told my friends this, people who ask, buy monogram items in January because by the end of the year, they've already filled their quota. You're not gonna get the speedy. You're probably not gonna get this. You're not gonna get that. So if you're planning on buying something monogram, January through March, that is your golden time to do it. And who knew on what, January 2nd when we went, second or third, I would get this lucky. I don't know if I told you guys, but I was this close to just settling for a piece of Gucci, which I mean, really wouldn't be settling because it is a cute piece. I mean, I might still have to get it, but I have this one and this is truly exciting. All right, so this, oh, gorgeous, okay. 
<laughs> also, surprise unboxing, that same day we went to Half Price Books <laughs> and Zane found the Myst strategy guide for me. I used to be a huge computer gamer, nerd back in the day, and this was one of my games. And now I have the strategy guide, so I'm gonna have to get back into that again. So, surprise. <laughs> Who would think that you would pull a 15 year old strategy guide out of, well, 15, gosh, this is probably late 90s. 20 year old. <laughs> strategy guide out of a Louis Vuitton bag, only in this house. The time has come, you guys, to see the piece. So if you remember back in my wish list video, well, not really wish list, my resolution video, I said that I would buy this item if they have it. They probably would pretend they didn't, but I'd buy it. Let's do a replay. If they would, you know, sell me one and not pretend like they don't have it, I'm sure I'd run into that issue like everyone else. So we walked up to the store. Mind you, I hadn't shopped at this one yet before, so we had to stand in line. Ooh in the cold, hated it. And the gentleman comes out, he's got his iPad, he's like, what are you looking for today? And I'm like, I might've said it, Zane might've said it. Um, we asked for the piece in here. And I'm like, he's gonna say no. He is gonna say no, but luckily I'm tall. So I could see like over the iPad and, and see kind of what came up on the screen. And after a couple minutes of him furiously tapping at the screen, he came back reluctantly and said, yes, we have one, one. And I said, okay, well, I guess we'll be in for that. So we had to wait a couple more minutes, had a fun chat with the guy working the door, and then we finally got into the store. They pulled it out and it's mine. This is one of those pieces where if you find one, you don't walk away because the minute you buy it and get out of the store, it's worth double on the resale market. With that, you probably know what it is. So with the holiday packaging, they have Louis Vuitton here emblazoned in gold to match the bags. On the box, I'm here for it. The bags I think are a little loosey, but the ribbon for the holiday season, which is just typical blue ribbon, but it has the Louis on there with the LVs, which is kind of cute. Now for the item. <laughs> it's mine, I can <laughs> cannot believe it. Okay, so here we go. Are we ready? Can you handle it? I'm not sure if you can handle it, because I know I can't handle it, so you probably can't handle it. All right, let's get into it. <sighs> okay, everyone, deep breath. Can you guess by the size of that what this could be? Okay, so in here, Inside the box, I have this little item and it has the holiday sticker on there. I'm not sure if this was meant for like the wrapping inside because I didn't really buy any LV before the actual holiday. So by the time we went after New Year's Eve, they were probably out of a lot of their packaging. So I was just happy to get a box and a couple of bags. Anyway, so this sticker is super cute and I kind of don't want to throw it away. You know, you, you guys know. I was able to get the only one at the Oak Brook Mall, Oak Brook Center Mall, the Posh Toilette 15. It's mine. Okay, so I am so jazzed, you guys. And the fact that I got the very last one and it is perfect. So this piece, it is so cute. I've had this in the past before and I used to use it for like, when I was in school, I'd throw my digital camera in there and my SD card reader because I had an ancient laptop that didn't have an SD card reader built in. So I had to have that, you know, the one that plugged in through the USB. Anyway, rambling. So this one is absolutely perfect. There's not a stitch out of place. Everything is lined up perfectly. It is made in Spain. So the Posh Toilet, if you don't, if you're unaware, if you haven't watched a Louis Vuitton monogram video in the last 10 years, let me tell you. So the Posh Toilet comes in three sizes. You have 15, which is my favorite size, 19 and size 26. Now size 26 was famously carried by Princess Diana on Dodi Fayed's super yacht way back in the day with a very chic, I think she had a black bathing suit on, white shorts, and then just the pouch underneath her arm. And it was a look, it's a vibe, quite honestly. I mean, everything she wore was a vibe. I think part of that is what sparked some of the controversy around these pieces. So a lot of people were using them as like small bags, chains, inserts, whatnot. And Louis Vuitton was like, nope, we're not gonna do that. And then they made these nearly impossible to get. So I got very lucky getting one. I really didn't think it was going to happen. Anyway, so this piece, it is just lined in and coated canvas. And I think the current retail is 490 before tax. And so a hefty price for a small toiletry or a cosmetics case, but on the resale market, they go for about seven or eight. I mean, if I wanted to sell it, I could probably spend a profit, but I mean, why would I do that? <laughs> and this piece is perfect. So let me show you what all it can fit. 
All right, so the posh toilet up close and personal. So as you all know, this is made of one piece of canvas, just like a Speedy or other bag would be made. And it wraps all the way around the backside. You'll have two pieces of canvas at either end and then a gold metal piece zipper down the center. And this is stamped Louis Vuitton made in Spain. The interior itself, it's just done in a simple, very plain V night lining, which is just like a coated canvas. Now, if you're buying vintage pieces from like maybe somewhere that has a humid climate, this lining is notoriously known for like melting, breaking down and just becoming unusable. So make sure to kind of keep an eye on that through the years. There's like some tricks to keeping it in good shape, but this isn't about that. So let's get on with it. Now the interior here, I, I have the coated canvas tag in there. The price, as you can see, was $4.90. And let's see what all of this will fit. So I pretty much bought this just to kind of organize inside my larger bags, like my Peekaboo's, my YSL Muse 2, the Balenciaga bags. I mean, you get it. And here I plan to put my Shiseido blotting papers. Kind of keep those in one spot. My Chanel lip balm chapstick, whatever you want to call it, will fit nicely in there as well. And then I'm wondering, let's try this. Will my gum fit? Oh my gosh. Okay, not with the chapstick. But I mean, I could get my gum and my blotting paper in there and that would fit nicely. Or if you wanted, you could keep that out, throw in the Chanel lip balm, and then my old Bose headphones could go in there. That way they're not nodding up and wrapping around everything else inside my bag. That could be smart. So really the uses are endless. I know a lot of people use these for cosmetics. They're great for travel. They fit in your bag perfectly. I don't know why I ever sold the one I had in the first place. Stupid mistake. Anyway, Posh Toilet 15, who knew? All right, you guys. So what did you think of the first rather small unboxing for 2022? Not too shabby. We got something a little rare. We got some new fragrances to kick off the year. I think we're off to a good start so far. What do you think? All right, you guys, so if you don't already follow me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer, same name over on TikTok, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, have a happy Sunday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.